I feel that Chaz will end up in prison over his five felonies. There's tough guy Chaz, who thinks jail is a joke. Then there's the child Chaz, who doesn't understand what jail really is. Jail doesn't scare me in the slightest. Losing my freedom still. That's time I can't get back. Personally, I feel like I'll be all right. Half the city locked up right now in the county jail. So you're gonna send me to prison with my friends that got locked up for doing bad stuff, and you're gonna keep me in there with all of them. I'm gonna get out probably 10 times worse. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I go to prison, you always got that number on your back. That ain't never coming off. My next guest, Joseph, is a former Los Angeles gang member and says he has a few words for Chaz. I've known Joseph for a good while now, and um, his son Joey is here with him. And uh, I, I find that interesting because you're here, your dad's here. Um, Joseph, we've, we've talked about this already, and uh, he's playing it this life. You've lived this life. What do you want to say to him? You know, prison life, man, is a, it's a whole different ballgame. You know, you're half white and you're half black, correct? Yes, sir. So when you hit the state, you're going to choose one. Oh, yeah, I know. Which side are you going to choose? Neither. I'm choosing mulatto. You have no choice. You're going to run with the blacks or the whites. You have no choice. So when, if you choose the blacks, the whites are always going to hate you. If you choose the whites, the blacks are always going to hate you. And that may not be in your chest, but it's outside of your realm now because you're put in their world. And then you have to do <laughs> Excuse my language. You have to do things that you may not want to do. You're a good looking dude. I love women, but you're a good looking dude. And let me tell you, going to the joint is nothing nice. And you seem like you, you got a great heart, man. You got, you got some charisma. Like my man's over here said, you got beautiful charisma. And that's with all due respect. And you a track star, bro? Like you 17, you were faced with five felonies. You gonna do prison time. I hope you don't but you're gonna do prison time. But until you find it in you to live for something, your mom, you love your mom, I heard you have a little brother, right? Of course. This is my son, 21. I was gone the first almost six years of his life, man. He just graduated college, only because he gave me a, pers he gave me a purpose to live. When I came home from prison, I, I left them. They wanted to kill me because I, I betrayed the ones that I loved the most. But I had a purpose now, my son. And it's hard to stand on your own, but it's a beautiful thing when you actually stand on your own and you find that self-worth, because ain't nothing outside can touch you anymore. Joey, he's turned this around, right? I mean, you've watched it since he's come back and actually made a different path in his life, right? Oh yeah, like 100%. Just seeing, I mean, I was, I was five, six when he got out of jail. So just seeing how he's grown from then to now is, is amazing. He's a completely different person. And you're the first in this family line to break the cycle. Yes. You didn't go the gang route. You're the first in this family to break that family line. Yeah. But you can do that. All this hustle, the game, put that into bars, bro. You teach him that. Your little brother looking up to you like an idol, bro. You God to him. Oh no, and that's why I don't let that. But let me out. tell you, he's gonna be like, I'm grown. I'm faster than the police too. Not you don't want your little man to do that, right? Of course not. No. You got to be that little brother, man. You got to be that big brother and love him, bro. Because you can do that. I promise you. you